This procedure begins by anesthetizing a mouse, preparing it for aseptic surgery, and placing it in a supine position atop a heating pad. Endotracheal intubation is performed using PE90 tubing, which is then connected to a rodent ventilator. Next, a partial thoracotomy to the second rib is performed and the sternum retracted. The transverse aorta is identified and subsequently ligated between the innominate and left carotid arteries. The rib cage is closed, followed by the skin, with a continuous suture pattern. Finally, the endotracheal tube is removed and the mouse is allowed to recover. Hi, I'm Angela D. Almeida from the laboratory of Dr. Xander Warens in the Department of Molecular Physiology and Biophysics at Baylor College of Medicine. Today we will show you procedure for transverse aortic constriction in mice. We use this procedure in our laboratory to study mechanisms underlying cardiac hypertrophy and heart failure development. So let's get started. Prior to beginning transverse aortic constriction, or TAC surgery, disinfect the operating field with 75% isopropyl alcohol. Turn on the heating pad and set it at the right temperature. The system we recommend is a GameWare circulating water pump connected to a heat therapy pad that is maintained at 37 plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. Sterilize surgical tools in a hot bead sterilizer before surgery. For the TAC surgical procedure, the following surgical instruments are needed a pair of blunt scissors, two coarse curved forceps, two fine 45 degree angled forceps, a pair of angled spring scissors, a chest retractor, and a needle holder. Cotton applicators should also be on hand in case of bleeding. With the operating field prepared, we can proceed to intubation of the mouse.